Hello friends, I'm here to discuss on the choice made by India on its political structure and its impact. After independence, India had a choice to be made on its political structure. It had two options. One, democracy. Another is autocracy. India chose democracy over autocracy. Was that the right move? Did India benefit from the decision? Let's uh, discuss. While we compare the growth of India over other developed nations like China, which is not a democratic country, we can find a significant difference from the point when the decision was made. Yes, by 1947, the GDP of China and India was almost the same. But right now, China's GDP is almost three times more than India. Is there any problem in the choice made by India? What if India had chosen an autocratic system instead of democracy in 1947? What would have happened? Would India have been better than China? Would India's economic and political condition have been better? Of course, an autocratic regime would have resulted in stronger centralization of power, allowing for swift decision making, and the execution of policies could have happened without any delay caused by like any parliamentary debates or public opposition. Those things could have been avoided. And uh, it might have prioritized rapid industrialization and large-scale infrastructure projects similar to what China experienced after 1949. These are the benefits. But what about other negative side of autocracy? In the absence of democratic checks and balances, corruption and abuse of power might have been more prevalent as an autocratic system lacks accountability uh, because it will be based on the decision of the uh, leader and the political party which is in the power may have been more likely to favor the interest of elites or focus on a heavy industries at the expense of social welfare programs. So the uh, person who is uh, ruling the country might have not given any importance to any social reform. This would have resulted in greater income inequality and insufficient attention to poverty, education and healthcare. Of course, what is the point in just the country growing if uh, out of 10 people. If one people uh, person is contributing more and overall the overall the GDP is going up and what about the balanced time people? If, if, if there is inequality then there is a problem and, and freedom of speech and uh, civil liberties might have been restricted like uh, government could have controlled media, limiting freedom of expression like opposition parties might have not been allowed to pinpoint their opinions and uh, given India's vast regional, linguistic and religious diversity. An autocratic system might have struggled to maintain unity and uh, rebellion movements uh, could have been more common. Many uh, yeah, in the nook and corner of the country, uh, people who are not favoring the decision of the autocratic uh, government, uh, more rebellions uh, would have formed and it would have resulted in uh, more unrest in the country. So now democracy seems much better than autocracy after going through the pros and cons of autocracy, right? Yes. Uh, come, let's uh, take a look back on why India chose democracy over autocracy. The decision for India to follow de democracy was primarily shaped by the country's uh, founding leaders, especially those involved in the uh, India's independent movements and the drafting of the constitution. And you all know the freedom struggle itself was based on the demand for uh, self rule which implied a government accountable to the people. India's founders were aware of the risk associated with the autocracy. And uh, we were, uh, by 1947, everyone were relieved after getting uh, out of British rule. So again, if we go into autocracy, then again we'll uh, get into the control of some other uh, person or political power. So taking all this into account, the leaders by then take, uh, took a conscious, uh, conscious call to, to uh, opt for democracy instead of autocracy. And uh, if we take China and on comparing the GDP, China is an autocratic state, it's, uh, specifically a one-party authoritarian regime led by a communist party of China. But China's situation in 1949 was uh, different. Uh, when the Chinese communist parties took power, the country was experiencing extreme poverty and instability. The centralized authoritarian system was needed there by the uh, because uh, it was completely out of control there and uh, and uh, that was the need uh, needed thing there. So they adopted that. But India's situation in 1947 was completely different. India had a different legacy and uh, after uh, British rule, 
the bill established movement for democratic governance and the parliamentary uh, system uh, inherited from the uh, colonial rule, uh, rule. We were uh, very much ready for the democratic uh, way of uh, political uh, structure instead of autocracy. So maybe uh, if we had chosen autocratic uh, system by then, it would have completely resulted in a, uh, a big level of rebellion movement and it would uh, uh, result in a uh, chaos and uh, and, uh, and the decision what we made uh, while China has uh, achieved rapid economic growth India has made significant progress in areas like legal rights and freedom of expression this contributes to overall quality of life and human development and uh, India's democracy dis, uh, despite its imperfection accommodate uh, regional, linguistic and cultural differences better than autocratic system uh, likely could. So to conclude, while autocracy may bring short-term economic benefits through rapid decision-making and centralized control, in the long run, democracy offers a more uh, resilient and sustainable path for development even if it faces challenges. Uh, so the democratic path remains better suited to India's unique circumstances. The reason for slow growth in GDP were attributed to various other uh, factors uh, like the uh, socialistic model, what we adopted, and the political instability. Uh, many things are there. But still, India is the largest economy in uh, GDP right now. And in a couple of years, uh, India will become the third largest uh, economy. Uh, remember, slow and steady, it's a race.